Hi, beautiful. Thanks for being here. So the other day I was looking at the most popular videos about hair on YouTube. What I found was not what I was expecting exactly. One of the most popular hair videos is called How to Grow Long Thicken Hair with Onion, World's Best Remedy for Hair Growth. And get this, the video has 30 million views. And if you're thinking, well, that sounds crazy, I'd have to agree with you. So then, you know, I went on that video, which led me to another video, which led me to another video, which led to me to another video, and then another, another, another video. All these videos have to do with hair growth. So it seems to me like y'all really wanna know how to grow your damn hair faster. One of the videos even claims that your hair will grow two to four inches in one week. That's a lot of inches and that's not a lot of time. Today, I wanna take a look at some of these videos I've found with you guys and kind of debunk or agree with some of the things that are going on in these videos. These remedies have to do with some basic ingredients that you may be able to find around your house right now. And maybe by the end of this video, you'll wanna do some of these things to your own hair while you're chilling at home inside. Might as well have good hair when this is all over, you know? And after we watch some of these crazy hair hack growth videos, we'll play a little game and see how much you really know about how to grow your hair nice and healthy and fast. Let's get into it. So we're gonna watch the most popular sort of hair growth hack video, which is the one I mentioned in the beginning of this video with 31 million views almost. That's a lot of views. Let's just see what's going on first. I have not even really seen the video yet. I mean, that girl looks like she has some really healthy hair, I must admit. For the first process, chopped an onion into small pieces. Okay, are they gonna take the onion and like rub it on their heads. Now we're blending the onion, okay, to extract the juice. Okay, so we're using the juice from an onion. That would make me cry. And ew, I bet this smells so bad. Your hair is gonna smell like onion, first of all, but I mean, if your hair is gonna grow, make the sacrifice, I guess. So you're applying this onion juice to your head and waiting 40 minutes. For better results, do this process two times a week. Okay, that's a lot. For the second process, take one liter of hot water in a bowl, one tablespoon of onion ju juice and mix it well. After cooling this, rinse your hair with this water after shampooing. Yo, who the hell came up with this? Okay, so that's the entire video. Let me just say right off the bat that this seems like a little bit, like it doesn't exactly make sense. Also, a lot of work for probably not much outcome. We cut the onions in pieces, we blended it, we then squeezed the juice out of them, and then we took that, put it on our hair for 40 minutes, shampooed it off, and then made a water and onion mixture, and then poured that on our hair and left it. Okay, seems a little bit like a lot to be done, but hey, if it really makes your hair grow, then why not do it? Let's see if there's any studies that have been done about this. Okay, so I have here that in this group of 38 patients who have suffered from alopecia. They all tried this for two weeks and they applied the onion to the scalp twice a day. 74% of the patients had some hair growth within the first four weeks. What? And after six weeks, 87% of patients experienced hair regrowth. And it says that onions contain dietary sulfur. Sulfur is one of the most common minerals in the body. They help produce proteins. And sulfur is one of the main components of keratin. And keratin is one of the components of a hair strand. It kind of all goes together. This makes sense to me a little bit more now. One thing leads to another, which leads to another, which leads to your hair growing. Okay, I got it. Onions are also antimicrobial. If you have a scalp infection, that can also cause hair loss. So onions may help decrease that infection or diminish that infection, which ends up helping your hair grow. And lastly, onions are full with antioxidants and antioxidants are great for us. It helps with the anti-aging process. And you know, you can find that a lot in skincare, which also just helps your skin be tight and not wrinkle and not get loose. And it's just really great for our skin and skin and hair are so Similar. So this may help reduce damage to the hair follicle that are caused by the natural aging process. So my conclusion on onions, do they work? Would I recommend it? Should you try it? I say, why the hell not? It looks interesting. I don't think it could harm you. Onions are pretty cheap. I mean, try it for yourself. 
let me know if it works. I think from all the research I did today, I think that it could be cool to try and I don't see the harm besides your hair smelling bad. But I think it's interesting and while we're all in lockdown, we might as well do some weird to our hair. If you try it, let me know though. I wanna know if it works or not. I do. I think it might be. Who would've known? They not only taste good, but they cure your hair issues. I knew I loved onions. I just didn't know why. Okay, so now that we've gone over onions and why they work, and um, honestly, they're pretty cool. Why don't we go on to our next really popular hair growth hack video. Okay, so now we have this video that's called Homemade Aloe Vera Hair Oil for double hair growth. Aloe vera gel to get long hair, no hair fall. And this video has almost 25 million views. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see how this works. What's going on here? Show us how it's done. It looks so good. I want to bite an aloe vera plant. Vera leaf and wash it thoroughly. Then cut the leaf into small cubes. Okay. After that, Take half a bowl of melted coconut oil. Okay. Then, warm the oil by placing it in a hot water for about 5 to 10 minutes. That looks so delicious. Keep the oil, just place the container in a hot water. You can stir the oil using a wooden spoon. Let the oil take up all the goodness and nutrients of aloe. Aloe vera repairs dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. Okay, we'll see about that. Let it cool down for some time. Strain the oil and it is ready to use. Apply this oh, wow. on your scalp. Massage it gently in a circular motion. Let it sit for about 40 minutes to one hour. Then wash off with a mild shampoo. If you want, you can leave this oil overnight and shampoo your hair the next morning. Aloe vera may help activate new hair growth by increasing the blood circulation to the scalp and delivering several important vitamins and minerals. All right, so that's sort of it. So you just put the aloe vera plant in with coconut oil and boil it and the oil eats away at the aloe vera plant. You end up with an aloe vera oil mixture and you're supposed to apply it to your scalp and then you're good. You got, your hair is growing. You're all set. Let's dive deeper into this. So I sort of already see where we're going with this, right? Like aloe vera is great for sunburns and broken skin. And it's a great natural way to cure skin that's been compromised, damaged, whatever, which makes sense. So a healthy scalp is where healthy hair starts. So this makes a lot of sense to me. However, not sure about the coconut oil part. I have a hate relationship with coconut oil. <laughs> not even a love hate, it's just pure hate. I don't like coconut oil. Coconut oil really traps in moisture and doesn't really like seep in to your skin from what I know. And kind of leaves a barrier of a film over your skin and doesn't allow more moisture to come in to your skin. So I tend to stay away from coconut oil, but I am also not a dermatologist, so, you know. I didn't know this, but aloe vera can strip your hair of everything. Aloe vera is actually a great natural way to clean your hair. So if you're like an earthy crunchy gal or guy and you wanna wash your hair with something natural, you can actually use aloe vera, apparently. It's gentle enough to wash your hair, but it's not going to be harsh and remove everything, all the natural goodness that's on your hair. Super cool, actually. Aloe vera also contains vitamin A, C, and E, and those vitamins contribute to cell turnover, which promotes healthy cell growth and shiny hair. And the coolest part is that apparently aloe vera can stimulate blood flow. I actually had no idea about that. And I know that, you know, stimulating your scalp helps promote healthy hair growth because you're stimulating all those cells to keep working and you're just like, go. Um, so that's like massaging your head without actually massaging it because the aloe vera would be doing it for you naturally. So I think that's awesome. If you can get stimulation on your scalp without even touching it from aloe vera, I think that's really cool. And if that's true, then aloe vera sounds like kind of the shit. So I researched more about coconut oil and just wanted to make sure, you know, the things I say are correct. Coconut oil is actually found to help protein loss more than other oils. However, they did say that coconut oil does lay on top of the hair and doesn't seep into it well. So coconut oil definitely does leave a greasy film on your hair and doesn't go into the hair fiber like other oils do, but it actually helps with protein loss. So if you're not using it all the time, I don't see the harm. I think there's a lot better oils out there that you can choose from. 
Ahem, Viper by Ex Mondo. That has other great components like argan oil and bobab oil that actually go into your hair fiber and seep in and moisturize from the inside out instead of leaving a greasy film on your hair. But coconut oil actually can be used. Okay, okay, I feel it, I feel it. To break this all down, um, aloe vera seems awesome. I would totally do that if I were you. I think it's a great idea. Um, it doesn't smell bad like the onions do, but I don't know if I would combine coconut oil with it, or maybe I would. So far, this is really interesting to me that both of these kind of hacks have some sort of information to back them and actually seem pretty legit. Kind of cool. So up next, we have this very interestingly titled video. How to grow two to four inches of your hair in a week, like I mentioned in my intro. And this video has 15 million views. <laughs> Evan Yelkin, tell us how it's done because babe, doesn't sound realistic. The thing I'm going to be telling you about is called the inversion method. Some of in who? Before some of you may not have heard it before. No, never. But it is proven to work. I tried it on myself and it worked. I told well, you if you tried it, girl, it's proven for her as well. <clears throat> so chances are. <clears throat> It could work for you too. What the inversion method is, is basically you tip your this head. This is what you have to do. Okay. Where's she going? So you're looking to the floor. All right. Like this. She wasn't kidding when she said inversion, girl. Tip that head over. Using an essential oil, olive oil, coconut oil, or just not using anything at all. Flip your head forward and then just give yourself a scalp massage for four minutes. So you wanna tip your- Four minutes? It's a lot of time. And then you just wanna get up in there and massage away. Okay, like this. But don't press too hard or you'll end up getting a headache. Just firm enough to stimulate the blood flow. That's it? It's just a head massage upside down? There you have it. Yes, volume. Ah! Doesn't my hair look amazing today? Just absolutely amazing. So now we're on to the inversion method, which sounds very cute, actually. I'm into it. She claims that you'll grow two to four inches in a week. All right, all right, all right, all right. Whoa, girl. Let me just tell you this little piece of information that might uh, burst your bubble a little bit. Uh, hair grows about a half an inch a month. So two to four inches in a week sounds a little crazy to me. You pretty much can only grow six inches of hair a year unless you're just an anomaly and you're that person who grows like 24 inches in a year. Not really that possible, but you know what? I've seen crazier things in my lifetime, but two to four inches in a week is a lot. And uh, <laughs> that's probably not gonna happen, but who cares? Even if it helps your hair grow a centimeter, is this worth doing? Should you do the inversion? method where you flip your head upside down and do this for four minutes straight with oil sounds kind of cool to me sounds kind of good so there is a study in 2019 where 340 alopecia patients did scalp massages twice a day to improve their hair loss and 69 percent of the patients say that their alopecia has improved okay so that is really cool just our hands can be a tool to help our hair grow. So I'm reading here, it says, according to research, scalp massage increases hair thickness by strengthening the cells of the hair follicles. This in turn stimulates the follicles to produce thicker hair. It's also thought that a scalp massage may help dilute blood vessels beneath the skin, thereby encouraging hair growth. The more you know. They also say that research is limited and of course, nobody's really like sitting out there researching this like crazy, but the research that they have done looks very promising and actually really cool that you can help your hair grow with just these phalanges. I mean, come on. I would say that video was pretty accurate um, besides the two to four inches a week that you're not gonna get. I've always promoted scalp massage to help hair growth, but I haven't done full research on it. And now that I know this, I think it's really interesting that our body has the ability to help itself in so many different ways, even by just massaging. That helps repair muscles, helps hair growth, helps your joints. Massages is the cure to everything. I'm gonna get more massages. Anyways, let's watch one more hair growth hack. Okay, and lastly, we have how to grow your hair overnight. Um, This is by 
Talisa Tossel. And this has 13 million views. So hopefully the information in here is correct. Today I'm going to be showing you some methods of how to grow out your hair. And I've drawn a line where my hair ends naturally. And then where I pull it out and point to is where it ends when it's stretched. It's drawn right on her boobs. End of this video after I've done these methods. So the first thing we're going to do is grab two eggs and just crack them into, I've used a Pyrex beaker, but you can use- We're doing eggs. I'm familiar with eggs as a treatment. For it. And let's ignore that I dropped the shell in there. <laughs> and then we're gonna add four tablespoons of rapeseed oil. It doesn't matter if you add a bit. Grapeseed oil, okay. You're going to be using this egg mask because your hair is made of basically all protein and eggs are protein. So you're just adding more of what your hair is made to into your hair. I'm not grasping how the hair is going to grab onto that protein and if it's gonna accept it as its own and kind of like help it's gonna help. I feel like it's just laying protein on top of your hair and just rinsing it off. Ew, that looks so gross. Oh wait, I did this with my brother in one video. Ew, it was so gross. It'd be quite hard to kind of- Oh, I'm having flashbacks. That was really disgusting. Everything is and what parts are covered and which parts are- <laughs> I follow a plant-based diet and I haven't had eggs in years. After leaving my mask in for an hour, I got ready for the second part and I added two scoops of coconut oil and then put it in the microwave and as you can see, it just creates a really clear liquid. It can cool down and it can be really cold and still stay a liquid, which is awesome. So I just took out my hair and I'm just warning you now, it will be very stiff, kind of like dry gel after it's been in hair for a while. So it will take you a while to wash out and the water will be yellow and gross, but it feels so, so lovely after you've washed it out. And then she pours coconut oil all over her head and you know, we already went over coconut oil. We got the point. We get it. All right, so she's using eggs to treat her hair. Let's dive deeper into this. Similar to my findings about the onions, egg yolks actually have sulfur in them also. And what we discovered before was that sulfur helps build healthy hair because within keratin, there's sulfur and it all goes hand in hand or egg and onion. However, I've been reading up and there's actually really no evidence that says that eggs are gonna help with hair loss or hair growth. None, nothing, there's nothing. Some researchers though claim that it can help with somebody who has dry or damaged hair because of the protein in the egg and because of the high amount of fat. And fat can help enhance hair softness, apparently. But if all you're really looking for is fat and protein, you can find that in a lot of other things. So to me, it kind of just seems like a gross way of getting protein and fat in your hair. You guys, you know there's actually hair masks that has proteins in it and will do even more for your hair than eggs will. And uh, it won't be gross. And if all you have in your house right now is eggs and you wanna do a hair mask, go for it. Put some eggs in your hair. Will it do anything miraculous? I don't think so. Are you better off just getting a hair mask that works? Yeah, like prismatic glow. It's gross, I've done this before to my brother and uh, if you wanna see that video, we tried hair hacks or something like that. It was so gross. Putting eggs on your head is the nastiest thing ever. I don't even know where to begin. It, it's so like drying and slippery and ugh, I don't want it. I don't like it. They're like little babies, never got hatched. It's like, ugh. Like, no thank you. So those were the four main, most popular videos I could find about how to grow your hair faster and better. Um, and I would like to share my own thoughts about this subject now. We're gonna play a little true or false game. I know you guys love this. And we're gonna see how much you guys know about the correct ways to help your hair growth, either naturally or artificially, and just ways that are proven to actually help hair growth. And maybe you can learn a thing or two and maybe apply it to your own hair. Hope this can help. Okay, tell me if this is true or false healthy hair growth starts with the scalp and the scalp only true or false true kind of i mean listen so your hair obviously comes out of your scalp. You're gonna wanna take really good care of your scalp, but also your ends are a component also. Trim those babies up, keep those things healthy. That way your hair doesn't break off from here, start healthy up here and break off down here. That would be unfortunate. Keep that scalp healthy though. It's your most important asset to growing great hair. An unhealthy diet can stop your hair from growing. True or false? True. 
you must eat healthy, okay? I've followed a plant-based diet for years now. It really helped with my hair growth and my skin. I used to have really awful skin, believe it or not. It really helped me recover from those issues. So if you are suffering from really bad hair loss or you're just so fed up, maybe try a plant-based diet. It really helped me. I'm not gonna push it on anybody, but it definitely helps a lot. And there is plenty of information about that if you research more on why a plant-based diet helps with these certain problems people have with their hair, skin, and all kinds of internal issues. So it's important to have a healthy diet for great hair growth. Exercise does not contribute to healthy hair. True or false? If you said false, you'd be correct. Exercise is gonna increase blood flow, which we talked about earlier with the massaging your head. That's gonna increase blood flow all around your body and that'll help you have healthy skin. That'll help clear out all the toxins in your body and sweat it out. That way your hair grows nicely and your skin is beautiful and glowing. We went over this before, but let's see if you were paying attention. Stimulating your scalp can help hair growth. True or false? If you don't get this one, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be a little mad. I'm gonna be a little upset with you. It's true. Stimulating your scalp can 100% help your hair grow. It's a great easy way to promote healthy hair growth at home with no added products or tools, just using these things. Getting a trim will help your hair grow. True or false? That is true, sort of. So it doesn't actually help your hair grow from the scalp. However, it does help maintain the growth you have on the bottom. If you're continuously having split ends and your hair is kind of breaking off at the bottom of your hair, you're not gonna get any more length from your roots because the healthy hair is being damaged right as it comes out of your scalp and it's falling off on the ends. So getting a trim and making sure those ends are staying nice and healthy is going to promote a lot of hair length. Maybe not technically growth because growth comes out of your scalp, but the length is gonna be maintained Maintained, which is gonna make your hair longer. So get a damn trim. Elements of your DNA can tell you if you're prone to hair loss or not. True or false? True. They can actually. I believe this is only tested for male pattern baldness, but I could be wrong. I've done a DNA test before. It turns out I'm 100% bad, but also turns out I'm not prone to hair loss, which apparently your DNA can tell. So if you are a guy out there and you're curious if you're gonna have hair loss, maybe consider taking a DNA test. Being rough with your hair can help your hair grow longer faster. True or false? False, and if you said true, I'm mad at you, we're in a fight, we're done. Please be loving to your hair. Show it the love it deserves. It's doing so much for you and your confidence. For most of us, it's a security blanket. You know, it makes us feel cute. So show it the love it deserves. Be gentle. Don't rough up your hair too much. It'll love you back. Don't go with a brush and go It's not good. It's not gonna help you. Hair vitamins will help your hair grow. True or false? If you said false, then you're on my side. <laughs> I don't believe in hair vitamins, I don't. And if you would like to watch me rant about that, um, I made a video about it a couple years ago or a year ago, I don't know, about sugar bear hair and why it doesn't work. However, there are some benefits. You know, a lot of it is kind of a placebo. And if you aren't familiar with what placebo is, that means you can take a drug and it might not actually be effective, but because you're thinking it's effective, it can make it actually work. In a way, maybe hair vitamins do work, but I, don't believe overloading your body with vitamins that they already have naturally um, through a healthy diet will affect your hair growth at all. I don't recommend vitamins. I recommend just eating healthy and just stop with the fast food, okay? So that's my little true or false segment down. Um, basically, be healthy, live a solid, healthy life, do all the things you're supposed to do and your hair will thank you. I'm not trying to sell you on some crazy shit that's like apparently supposed to grow your hair. I don't believe a lot of it. I don't believe all that hype. I believe natural stuff works in combination with some synthetic stuffs like good products, a heat protectant, you know, a hair mask, good shampoo and conditioner. All those things are gonna help your hair grow. But besides that, just being a healthy person who is conscious about what they put in their body is going to help so much. Oh, that was so much hair knowledge. Woo, I am knowledge the f out. And I hope you learned a thing or two and maybe you'll try one of these 
little hacks we went over today on your own hair while you're um, stuck inside. And with that all said, you guys, make sure you follow me on all the Zam social medias. I mean, I'm on like everything now. So like, just look me up, Bramoto NYC. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. We're all having, we're having fun out here. And also make sure you check out my hair care brand, X Mondo Hair for beautiful, amazing, fabulous hair products that will make your hair feel and look healthy, beautiful, fabulous, and amazing. You can check out our website linked below. And you can also follow us at Xmondo Hair on Instagram to stay up to date with the new product launches happening all the damn at time. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. This is Hydromania, our conditioning mist. This is gonna be great for those of you with dry hair, curly hair, anybody who needs extra help detangling their hair after they've shampooed and conditioned. She is gonna help you with smoothing, with hydrating, with adding shine, but all in a lightweight formula.